Jesus' fate is sealed at his trial in front of Pilate, the Roman governor. Pilate said to them, then what should I do with Jesus who is called the Messiah? All of them said, let him be crucified. Then he asked, why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he could do nothing, he took some water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. So injustice led to Jesus' final suffering. Ben's wife, Kongozi, experienced injustice during the conflict in the Congo. Fearing for her life, she was forced to flee the country. But extreme poverty meant that she was unable to bring all her children with her. When we have to leave the house, Sarah was in tears, shouting, Mom, you are my father, you are my mother. Where are you going? Why are you leaving me behind? Who will take care of me? So I, I closed my eyes, I was in tears. My hand was all the time here because I could feel the pain of separation. Kongozi feared for the lives of the children she left behind. They were cared for by other members of the family, and her eldest daughter has been able to visit them in Bradford. But Jesus' mother, Mary, had to watch her son die a cruel and painful death. When we see Holy Week, and uh, I can think of Mary watching what was going on with Jesus. And as a mother, you are watching this. I just put my hand in my breast. Oh my God, that is painful experience. And it's like a wound no one can heal. When they came to the place that is called the skull. They crucified Jesus with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing.
Heavenly Father, as Jesus, our King, chose to enter Jerusalem on a donkey, help us to travel on our journey with humility. As Jesus, our Saviour, turned the money lenders from the temple, help us to strive to overcome poverty and the misuse of money. As Jesus, our Lord, prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, help us to trust in you, even in our darkest hour. Our final hymn is taken from the magnificent poem, The Dream of Gerontius by John Henry Newman. And in it, he describes a chorus of angels singing in wonder and triumph this hymn of praise to Jesus, the man who suffered and the king who reigns. <laughs> 